Welcome to part 3 of a three-part series on Marian apparitions. In part 1 we defined some terms and looked at the process of approving apparitions. In part 2 we looked at the most popular Marian apparitions, and in this video we'll look at the lesser known approved apparitions. Starting with Our Lady of Good Event. A religious sister named Mother Mariana de Jesus Torres reported that between February 2, 1594 to February 2, 1634, the Virgin Mary appeared to her multiple times at the Conceptionist Convent in Quito, Ecuador, under the title Our Lady of Good Event. According to Mother Mariana, Mary requested that a statue be made in her likeness and made several predictions, saying that the Church and the world would enter into a period of crisis beginning in the mid-20th century, including widespread moral corruption, depravity in the priesthood, loss of innocence among children, immodesty among women, and lack of vocations. After this period, the apparition predicted that there would follow a period of restoration. Although the phrase good event in the apparition title is also understood to refer to this prophesied restoration, the phrase, properly speaking, refers to the purification of Mary and the presentation of Jesus in the temple. The apparition was approved by the local bishop in 1611. Our Lady of Laos a young shepherdess named Benoit Rancorel reported that between 1664 and 1718, Mary appeared to her in the French Alps and said, I have asked my son for this place for the conversion of sinners, and he has granted it to me. Mary asked for a sanctuary to be built and said that the oil from the sanctuary lamp would work miracles with the sick if they received the anointing with faith in her intercession. The apparition was approved by the local bishop on May 4, 2008. Our Lady of Good Help A young Belgium immigrant woman named Adele reported that in October 1859, as she was walking through a wooded area in Wisconsin, she saw a beautiful woman standing between two trees. The lady said, I am the Queen of Heaven who prays for the conversion of sinners, and she gave Adele the mission to pray for sinners and teach the children of the area their catechism, with the assurance, Go and fear nothing, I will help you. Soon after, Adele's father built a small chapel between the trees, and later two more churches were built on the spot before the present brick church, built in 1942. Our Lady of Good Help is the first approved apparition in the United States. It was formally approved on December 8, 2010. Our Lady of Hope of Pont Maine On January 7, 1871, at the height of the Franco-Prussian War, Pont Maine, France, a village of about 500 people, found itself between the oncoming Prussian army and the city of Laval. While two boys, Joseph and Eugene, aged 10 and 12, were helping their father in the barn, Eugene saw in the night sky an apparition of a beautiful woman smiling at him. She was wearing a blue gown covered with golden stars and a black veil under a golden crown. Joseph came to look and could see the lady as well. As a crowd gathered, two girls, Francois Richer and Jean-Marie Lebas, aged 9 and 11, reported seeing Mary as well, and described her in the same way. None of the adults could see her, however. The crowd began praying the rosary. The children saw a banner unfurled beneath the lady with a message, But pray, my children, God will hear you in time. My son allows himself to be touched. As the crowd sung a hymn to Jesus, a red crucifix appeared in her hands, with the words, Jesus Christ, above it. Her eyes mournfully contemplated the cross as they sang. The apparition lasted about three hours, and it was later discovered that the advance of the Prussian troops was halted at the same time that the apparition began. Our Lady of Gitzwald A 13-year-old girl named Justina reported seeing Mary while praying the Angelus on June 27, 1877, in Gitzwald, Poland. Mary was seated on a gold throne near a maple tree, accompanied by an angel. The following day, she saw another apparition, this time also with the child Jesus. Later, both she and a 12-year-old girl named Barbara saw Mary, and Justina asked, What do you want, Holy Mary? Mary answered in the local Polish dialect, I want you to pray the rosary daily. In the coming days, Mary promised that fervent prayer would be able to end the persecutions of Catholic Poles. The apparitions continued for three months. On September 8th, about a week before the apparitions ended, Mary blessed the spring of water, from which pilgrims have subsequently reported healings. Our Lady of Gitzwald is the only approved Marian apparition in Poland, and it was approved September 1st, 1977. 
Our Lady of Borang. Five children ages 9 to 15 reported seeing 33 apparitions of Mary between November 1932 and January 1933 in Borang, Belgium. Mary identified herself as the Immaculate Virgin and asked for prayer and for the construction of a chapel as a place of pilgrimage, promising to convert sinners. In one of the last visions, Mary revealed her golden heart, and so she is also known as the Virgin of the Golden Heart. The apparition was approved on July 2nd, 1949. Our Lady of Banu A child named Mariette Becco reported that between January 15th and March 2nd, 1933, in Banu, Belgium, Mary appeared to her, calling herself the Virgin of the Poor. Mary said, I come to relieve suffering, and asked Mariette to plunge her hands into a small spring, telling her that the spring would be for healing. Mariette, meanwhile, became the object of local derision, with even her grandmother and aunt making fun of her. Boys followed her around, calling her Bernadette, and kneeling and asking for her blessing. Mariette later married and lived a quiet life. Life. In 2008, she made a final statement saying, I was no more than a postman who delivers the mail. Once this has been done, the postman is of no importance anymore. She died in 2011. The apparition was approved on August 22, 1949. Our Lady of Akita In Akita, Japan, in 1973, Sister Agnes of Sagawa reported seeing a statue of the Lady of All Nations illuminate, and even though she was deaf, reported hearing messages. The same statue also miraculously wept, a phenomena repeated on 101 occasions and broadcast on Japanese national television. The messages were apocalyptic in nature, warning of coming calamities if mankind did not repent. The apparition was approved by the local bishop on April 22, 1984. Our Lady of Quapa in Cuapa, Nicaragua, a sacristan named Bernardo Martinez reported seeing a supernatural light emanating from a statue of the Virgin Mary on April 15, 1980. When walking through the fields shortly thereafter, he saw a vision of the Virgin Mary, who encouraged him to pray the rosary daily and to promote peace, saying, Love each other, fulfill your obligations, make peace. Don't ask our Lord for peace, because if you do not make it, there will be no peace. At this time, Nicaragua was going through a civil war. The apparition was approved in 1994. Mary, Virgin and Mother, Reconciler of All Peoples and Nations Maria Esperanza was a Venezuelan mystic who had several Marian apparitions among her many mystical experiences. One event of which she is particularly famous for was a reported Marian apparition on March 25, 1984, in which 150 other people also said they saw Mary along with Maria Esperanza. It was approved in 1987. Our Lady of Quebejo. Between November 1981 and November 1989, in the African College of Quebejo, Rwanda, the Virgin Mary reportedly appeared to three teenage students, Alphonsine, Nathalie, and Marie Claire. The apparition identified herself in the native Rwanda dialect as Mother of the Word and warned of the coming 1994 Rwanda genocide in which Marie Claire was killed. The Marian Sanctuary at Quebejo was named Shrine of Our Lady of Sorrows in 1992, two years before the genocide. The apparition was approved on June 29, 2001. Our Lady of the Rosary of San Nicolás Amid reports of rosaries mysteriously glowing in homes throughout San Nicolás, Argentina, a woman named Gladys Quiroga de Mota, upon witnessing the phenomenon, began to pray to the Virgin Mary, who then appeared to her wearing a blue gown and veil. Mary asked Gladys to go look for a statue that had been blessed by Pope Leo XIII, but was hidden away, forgotten, in a church. She found the Marian statue, which bore a resemblance to Mary's appearance in the apparition, in storage at the diocesan cathedral. Gladys continued to receive apparitions from Mary and Jesus, some of them apocalyptic in nature. The apparition was approved on May 22, 2016. <laughs> Qui seres ad exteram par-